Hello everybody and welcome to my February 2022 book haul. I just have the one book to show you today and that is Daryl, a novel by Jackie S. So this is published by Clash Books, um, who I am aware of. I follow um, their, I guess their CEO, I don't think that's the job title that he goes with. Um, the main people in it anyway, they're actually a couple and Lisa has recently given birth, so congratulations Lisa. This is a novel about cuckolding, um, which is very in line with the kind of stuff that, that um, Clash Books publish. And um, yeah, it's been um, picked up a lot online. A brilliant novel of a seeker like The Pilgrim's Progress, refracted by queer internet culture. Yeah, looking forward to it. Heard a lot about it on Booktube as well, so that's always cool. Dane reads. Uh, if I look hungover, it's because I am hungover. Um, it really is windy, Jesus Christ. Um, I have some books. So uh, we went, uh, me and Sabrina went to Marlow, uh, which is the town I used to work yesterday. And we went round at the charity shops and I got a bunch of books. Um, let me see what we've got here. Let me show you the non-books first. So we went to this little like um, zero waste vegan food shop. I got a bunch of stuff from there. So I got some Turkish delight and um, vegan mini eggs and oh I got a falafel mix very excited I also I'm pretty sure I got some quinoa but I don't know where it's gone um, anyway in the charity shops I also got this did they really say that um, which is just a little game so Sabrina and I can play that on our next board game time thingy um, and I got a couple of records so I got acid jazz volume 2 which just sounds like it's gonna be fun um, and then I got the Wizard of Oz, an original MGM soundtrack recording, um, which I thought it made sense for me to get this because, um, you know, reading the Wizard of Oz with uh, with Joel Joel Swagman, and I think Sabrina said they're doing a production of this at her school, so she wants to listen to this with me as well, um, so she can you know check it out, check out the originals. So I got those. Ah. I also got this, which is a Mr. Greedy copy colouring book, um, and you colour it in, but it's also uh, got, you know, a story with it as well. So uh, I'm going to colour this in and then read the story. Uh, then I got Cat's Noisette by Claude Clement and Frederico Combi. So I um, spotted this in one of the charity shops, and it's in French, so it's always nice when I pick up a little French book, and it's uh, Christmas themed as well. So I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, then I got Pam Ayres, The Necessary Aptitude, a memoir. Uh, I do enjoy Pam Ayres stuff. I've read some of her memoirs before and enjoyed that as well. So um, this one was actually already on my wish list, so it was, it was nice to spot that and pick that up. I also got The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. Um, I met him, you know. I met him when I was on Pointless. Where's my trophy? Here we go. I was on Pointless, the TV show, and I won. I won a trophy. Um, what else did we get? And we got this lot as well, All right. So I also got Little Miss Wise's Winning Walk by Roger Hargreaves. Um, I'm just slowly but surely working th through the Mr. Men books. So I saw this and was like, I'll pick that up. I got In the Heart of the Amazon Forest by Walter Henry Bates. I just thought this was a really beautiful little edition. Um, and it's just travel writing, so that's cool. Uh, speaking of beautiful little editions, Greta Thunberg, No One Is Too Small To Make A Difference. Um, so yeah, quite happy with that little find. Um, Rosemary's Baby by Ira Levin, very famous novel. Um, and film as well. I, I'll probably watch the film after I read it. Um, I've never read Ira Levin before. I'm sure Ira, Le Ira Levin also wrote The Stepford Wives, which I did see. I saw a remake of that in the cinema on a date when, when I was like 14 or something. Um, then I got The World's Wife by Carol Ann Duffy. Just a nice little bit of poetry. Happy days. And then I got Butcher's Crossing by John Williams. So Williams also wrote Stoner, which was my favorite novel of the year a couple of years ago. There's a fucking cat's ass right in front of me. It's not helping with my hangover, Biggie. It's not helping at all. But yeah, so those are all the books I got. Um, that should put me back over 20 currently reading, I think. But it's nice because a lot of them are shorter reads. And uh, yeah. I needed to top up. I'd, I'd got down to, before I got these books, I was down to 13 currently reading. So, 
it's nice to top up a little bit. Hello and guten tag, bonjour, Jonah. Um, I have some books in the post, some more of these Mr. Men books. They're all by Roger Hargreaves. We have Little Miss Lucky and the Naughty Pixies. Mr. Men, A Christmas Carol. I think I read that one. Little Miss Sunshine and the Wicked Witch. Mr. Men, A White Christmas. And Mr. Nosy and the Beanstalk. So I am going to read these. We're getting through this series, we're doing all right. Hello, I got these two books in the post today from a very nice gentleman called Charles Heathcote, who you may know of Booktube fame. He works in a charity shop, and one of the things he's been doing for me very kindly is he keeps his eyes, sorry, I've just put my feet up. He keeps his eyes peeled for um, French stuff coming into his charity shop. So he sent me this these couple of bon dessinés, which are like uh, French, comic slash graphic novels, I guess. Um, so this is, I guess, from the Marsu Productions by Fraki and Baton Greg. I don't really know because they it's their handwriting is where their names are. Let's have a look. No, I see, I still can't really tell. I think that's a B. <laughs> I don't know. Well, anyway, the dessin, the drawings were by probably Batem. The scenario, the story is by Greg, the mise-en-scene by Franqui. Uh, I think, I can't really read the handwriting. Um, so the mise-en-scene is, I guess, the setting, isn't it, you know? So, anyway, um, yeah, he sent me La Cure de Marsupilami, a Marsupilami song, yeah. Baby prince, baby prince, baby prince, I imagine. Um, I have no idea what these are about. That appears to be some sort of leopard with an AK-47. So that should be good. Paul, oh, hello, it's me. Um, I've got a bunch of books in the post. I've got two big old chunkies here. These are all Mr. Men books, so they're all gonna be Roger Hargreaves. Some of them I've read, some of them I have not. Um, basically, I've been buying job lots to sort of slowly get through the series. I think with this purchase here, I'm essentially like, I don't know, I don't think there's any point in me buying further job lots because now it's going to be, it's like when I used to buy Agatha Christie job lots and I'd buy like 40 Agatha Christie books and there'd only be one that I hadn't read and it's like I might as well just, might as well just, you know, buy the individual books. Um, so are these Roger Hargreaves? I've actually not come across these. These are actually not Roger Hargreaves, so I'm not going to read any of these. Maybe I'll give them to my friend's kid, I don't know. These are all colourful characters. So I guess we have... I already don't know. Is that supposed to be I? No, this is L. You see, this is L. So that's confusing. This is I. K. X. F. D. E, V, W, A? Is that A? No, that's Q for Queen. They're not. Apparently, I need to read these books. N, B, Z, U, P, Y, R, T, S. O, H, and G. Um, I'm not particularly happy about that because that wasn't mentioned in the listing that half of these are those colourful characters books. So I mean, out of that first package, these are the colourful characters. These are the Mr. Men books, which is what I actually want. But anyway, so these are all by Roger Hargreaves. We have Little Miss Fun, Little Miss Trouble, Mr. Dizzy, pretty sure I haven't read that one. Little Miss Bossy, Little Miss Naughty, Little Miss Sunshine, Mr. Nosy, Mr. Bounce, Mr. Cool, Mr. Impossible, and Mr. Clever. So that's package number one. Let's have a look at package number two. I mean, they were in the same package, you know, but wrapped separately. I swear to God, if these are all the rest of that bloody alphabet, Okay, no, this is a Mr. Man at this end. Um, that reminds me, right? So if, if I just have one of these books, 
is, you know, would I say I have one Mr. Men book? Or is it I have one Mr. Man book? Okay, good. These are all proper Mr. Men ones. So, Mr. Tickle, Mr. Sneeze, Mr. Good, as in good. These are all proper Mr. Men books. Mr. Funny, Little Miss Birthday, Mr. Cheerful, Mr. Nonsense, Mr. Grumpy, Mr. Grumble, Mr. Men Meet Father Christmas, Mr. Wrong, Little Miss Quick, Little Miss Twins, Little Miss Quick again, Little Miss Christmas, Little Miss Lucky, Little Miss Whoops, Little Miss Trouble, Little Miss Star, and Mr. Uppity, which is for some reason in a hardback edition, which I didn't even know was a thing for these. So yeah, I think that whole lot, all of these books cost me about eight quid. It's about $10, something like that. Um, and as I say, I'm just slowly working through the series, so I've got to check which ones I've read and which ones I haven't. And I'll carry on working through them and the rest go on my eBay. Hello everybody, just the one book to show you uh, that I got in the post today. This is Alan Woodings, Once Upon a Time in Drayton Bassett. Uh, Alan Woodings is my granddad, I actually helped him to, to pull this book together and edited it and whatnot. And um, yeah, it's just a short little book of sort of a reminiscence of him growing up in this little village called Drayton Bassett. I have actually shown this before because I had the uh, proof copy, um, but now it's actually out and available so I wanted a, a copy of my own, you know, so. Yeah, very cool. Going straight on my shelves because I've already read it, you know. <laughs> Hello, people of the internet. I got two books in the post today. Been waiting on these for quite a while, so I'm glad they finally made it. So the first one, which is in this packet that I can't get into, this is oh, Rinky Tink of Oz by L. Frank Baum. So the latest in the uh, Oz series. I've been doing this as a buddy read with Joel Swagman. And um, yeah, I mean, I was supposed to start this on Monday, so it's going to be my next read. And in the spirit of continuing to read series, I also got this bad boy, which is The Machine Crusade by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson, next in the June series for me. My God. Wow, okay, so it's 664 pages. Look at that print. Look how tiny that print is. Jesus Christ. Well, I'm going traveling to meet my parents next week, so I'll probably read this then, but I would have preferred it with not tiny print, to be honest. Hello, uh, haul, and I have this one book that arrived, uh, and I believe I know what it is. Ah, oh, very cool, it's coming plastic. The Lost Princess of Oz. So this will be the next uh, read in my uh, Oz Buddy Reads with Joel Swagman, um, yeah. I'll probably start this after I finish reading June. I mean, I'm not really supposed to start it till next week, but what the hey, I might do it. Hello, um, I had to go for a blood test yesterday um, and I discovered a secret charity shop in the hospital that I didn't know existed and they had books. So I traded about 50 millilitres of my blood for these two books, obviously I also paid for these. <laughs> Han Kang, The Vegetarian, I've heard a lot about it, and being vegan, I feel like I should read it, even though I have no idea what it's about. So I'll probably do a review because it's quite a popular one. And then Strange Meeting by Susan Hill, which is good because all of her books are on my wish list. Dame Susan Hill, I believe. Um, and then I've got this box in the post. And I think this is books. It is. Oh, and it's got some carrier bags in it to stuff it up, but that's good because I always need carrier bags. Hey, Biggie. So this is five Michael Crichton books that I got for about five or six quid. Um, so we have Airframe, The Andromeda Strain, which I'm particularly excited about, Sphere, which I've already read, Prey, and then State of Fear. Um, so Crichton is another one of those authors who I eventually want to read everything that he's written uh, and as he's dead It's not as though he's coming out with loads of new stuff. So of these five four of them are new to me So that's bumped me a TBR right up. Mm, very exciting. Greetings greetings uh, I have one book for you today 
uh, and that is Of Myths and Mothers Short Stories. Uh, this is a Fly on the Wall press anthology. I was sent this by Isabel Kenyon, so thank you very much Isabel. Very uh, new release. And yeah, um, it's, well let's see, yeah. Of Myths and Mothers will make you believe in legends and question conventions. Um, and I believe it's, you know, mother based. I assume all of the authors are mothers. Um, just in time for Mother's Day, I suppose. So we have May We Know Them by Gaynor Jones, How to Dress a Rabbit by Clayton Lister, Memory Chip by Helen Nathaniel Fulton, The Last of the Nest Gatherers by Sasha Akhtar, and Pass Through the Waters by Kenzie Millar. So I'm looking forward to this. Thank you to Isabel for sending it. All right, anyway, those are all of the books that I received in the month of February 22. So as always, let me know. Try that again. So as always, let me. Fuck it, that'll do. So as always, let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.